Capricorn, it's Leslie with your January forecast. And what a forecast it is, it's a good forecast for you. Well, you've been lucky, very lucky, uh, very recently because um, Venus was in, was in Capricorn for quite a while for you. Um, anyway, thank you so much for all the views, for telling your friends about our channel, my channel, and for also um, asking them to subscribe, for you subscribing and making such wonderful comments. Thank you so much, it's very important to us. And the best road to secure a secure future is weighing wild impressions against reason. And you don't always do that, Capricorn. But I think you're going to start to do this. Your out of the box thinking reveals a clever and successful side of you. Very much so. Very much when you should um, use that. Use that very much. Um, this month can be fruitful in terms of employment, placement, or perspective. And um, very much so in, in employment. There's a lot of things open, maybe not things you want to do, but I feel like things will be coming to you that just right up your alley and what you need to do if, you, if you're not working. Or, or if you're looking, you're going to be working and still looking. You're open to all adventures, all adventure alleys. You're very open to, to look at them, see if that's what you want. Your partner approves of your behavior, and this time you really both agree very much on things. They have been waiting for this for a long time, for things to come together. Um, you've had some some things happen that aren't, aren't the best for you and, and your health and so forth, and maybe a little accident of some kind, or you know, uh, um, where you got hurt, you injured yourself, and now things are gonna come together for you. The transit of the sun in your own sign will be a rather positive influence for you. The sun is always a positive influence, and this is right in Capricorn. You will need to move past the idea of goals and enter into action. You need to not just think about your goals, but take some action to do what you really feel you should do, and things, things are coming for you. Venus will also be in your sign a majority of this month. And that's you getting a real bonus with, with Capricorn all this last year and now. Um, of course, with Venus in your sign, you will will find never-ending opportunities, never-ending opportunities. And you'll have, find a new love or maybe ways to um, strengthen the one that you have. Um, and, and you'll be very happy with it, very happy. Do not push too much pressure on your life. Do not, do not push it. Um, you, you're doing almost too much now. If you just let everything fall as they may, things will turn out perfectly for you just perfectly. And um, and there's some things I wanted to read to you about um, that I had made notes of, and I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't undo that. Oh, let's see, right here. And they are the best road to success. And your future is weighing wild impulses I think we said that, I did say that in the beginning here, but, um, and you have, you have your best days, the 8th, the 18th, and the 19th. So it's time for a good, um, a good year for you, very good. Let's do the cards and see what they have to say. Um, have you, ha having you really happy with yourself? You've come together with some things that made yourself very happy. Uh, here. Done some things to improve your looks, your clothes, your, your hairdo. Very happy with yourself. And with doing that, then you make yourself feel very confident in what you're going to do. Um, here you are making some new goals, having, having reached a goal that you, you did already, making sure they're going to be stable and something that you want to continue and make you feel make you feel you have a purpose. And you will be doing that if you're not already, because that could be, you've already started doing that. In the near future, um, I think someone is reaching out to you, a younger person, to join them in some kind of a project that they're doing. And it's, it's very nice, it's very nice that they really care about you. So this is one of your children, or it could be uh, someone else's child, or um, you know, a real relative, very, very nice. You're going to enjoy this. It's a, it's a good feeling for you. 
um, some things here what we just talked about that person and and the goal you're going to take your time deciding what you want to do the hanged man just means there's no action it's a stalemate kind of so until you decide what you want to do not a lot will be happening money is available to you i see that um you feel your opposition is telling me you feel you need more money to accomplish what you want to accomplish on this here but uh it's going to come to you it will come to you uh, don't worry about it if it hasn't it will come to you and it will work out for you and this is one of my favorite cards because this is gabriel blowing his heart horn it's called judgment and and they're up from the emotional dead. New life, revival, renewal. All is new. And um, as you can see, they are coming up from the dead. Where you felt maybe emotionally down, alone. Um, things are going to change for you. This is, this is, I love this card because they will change. They really will change. Trust in the Lord and it will change for you. And Sue is going to pick your angel card. She did. And here it is. Thank you. Your love is special. Give it wisely. Very nice. Have a good month. Bye-bye.